Should you travel to Albania? Stay tuned as we start our journey in the capital city of Tirana. The first leg of our journey was to fly into Heathrow Airport. We're really looking forward to Ryanair starting up direct flights from Edinburgh in the near future. Where are we going, Amelia is still one. Approaching 19 months in toddler years, she's flown to London a few times, Tirana twice, Paris, Helsinki. Get them used to it young. She's a great traveller. Makes everyone laugh. Honestly, she's a joy to travel with. <laughs> Who's feeding you? Daddy or you? Oh, Daddy can't see you anymore. Uh -oh. Ready? When you finally get to Tirana, you're greeted by the mountains from the sky and an old vintage plane outside the airport. It's a small airport, so you can pick up a rental car or taxi without walking much more than, say, 10 yards. It's almost always blue skies, it's the start of October for us, and it's high 20s and will maybe hit 30 degrees. This is why Tirana and Albania is fast becoming a tourist destination. See, you like the plane? I like the plan. Plan, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how do we get a video? We can't. If you do hit the Tirana city centre, you'll see plenty of contrast in the architecture. Lots of old, tall, tired concrete flats and new, bold architecture fit for the modern world. Near the city centre you'll find Bloku, a memorial consisting of one of the many war bunkers that you'll find all around Albania, thanks to that batshit crazy dictator Ember Hodja. He was preparing for an assault from the enemy that never came. As someone who's lucky enough to have been to Berlin, you immediately recognise a genuine section of the Berlin Wall symbolising the fall of communism and freedom of the Eastern Bloc. So this is where you would have kept your Kalashnikov and picked off the, the people here, like, they have a Kalashnikov holder here, get that gang all right in the bum, and I can guarantee you, it absolutely stinks of pissing here, whoa, stinky stinky. You'll also find some girders from the SPAC prison which reflect on the control of the people and labour camps in the not too distant memory. This is a fast track to Albania history, it might just be enough for some of you. If you're thirsty for more history, you could head to the National Museum, but instead I'd recommend visiting one of the bunkers, the old fallout bunkers to safeguard the leaders of the communist establishment. There are two, I visited number one just outside of Tirana. It's rather chilling, but not as dark as the Auschwitz, but it's still a view into the long forgotten world. For us living in the freedom of the West, it feels like a hundred years ago, and to be fair, the 70s almost are. <laughs> If you've got young kids, I thoroughly recommend the soft play at the TEG in Tirana, which will let your kids burn a bit of energy and give you a bit of peace. We managed to sneak out for a run after taking the kiddies to the soft play, uh, just outside of Tirana. I'm now uh, having a run through one of the more wealthy areas, um, just being through the rolling hills. If you see the houses, it's like something out of Malibu or Hollywood.
What's that? What's that? What's the problem? What's up? It's for for sale, no? Cheers from there. It's 30 degrees. Oh. It's 30 degrees and you've got conkers out. They're meant for autumn. So cool. Not bad for a white 40 year old man. I can nearly touch it. Although I'm sure that's not um, NBA illegal. So I've been coming to Albania for the best part of 10 years now. Usually we'd fly into Tirana, although I have been known to fly into Corfu and get the boat over because you get direct flights from Edinburgh to Corfu and then it's just a boat and uh, you cross over to Saranda in the south which is very much city beach uh, but one thing I was very conscious of on the flight over here it wasn't the usual plane full of Albanians it was a plane full of Brits who are obviously coming for late year holidays I mean it's looking at them there is the leaves are changing the weather's changing here it's 28 degrees and sunny Tomorrow 30. So a very different style of autumn. Hence why all the British tourists are coming. And because it's so hot, I'm just taking this first day running at a leisurely pace. I mean that's me an hour and twenty minutes in. And we're not even at twelve and a half K yet. But uh, in twenty eight degrees is pretty comfortable actually. You get used to it, but I'm just stopping for a wee, um, a wee break, just to quench my thirst, get a few electrolytes in. The wee ones should be waking up from our nap soon, so I'll have to call it a day uh, soon after this. I'm going to find a hill, do five reps, and then call it a day. So I'll get a good quality workout uh, on top of this. Uh, very easy endurance run so far. So we're going to do five times hill intervals up there and it looks spicy. Put it on the table. Put it. Broom, broom, broom. Yeah, broom, broom, broom. That's a quick tour of Tirana, don't forget to subscribe as we continue the adventure into the mountains and beaches of the south.